I'm going to be doing some sort of trance reading, but I have no idea who it is. So I think we're just going to go see what happens. Hello. We are still attempting to connect. Her mind is very active at this time. It has come to our attention. This frequency and we are excited to communicate with you. Many of you are curious as to who we are. We will say that we are from what seems to be a very great distance to you. We would like to share some thoughts and ideas with you and leave it in your discretion as to what you do with it. We will say that we at first showed part of our physicality to this channel and we sensed a spike of fear based on our appearance because we are so very different looking compared to you but she realized quickly that there was nothing to fear as we are peaceful and wanting to communicate. Here are the messages we would like to share. Your planet is a living thing and should be treated as such. We believe there is a saying that is a nice saying that you have humans have and it is that you should treat others the way you want to be treated. Think of your planet as an entity. Treat it like you would like to be treated. We can connect in with this entity. We can feel its frequencies and vibrations of which it has many. It has much love for its inhabitants all of them, every kind, every type, of which you have many. It feels the love for all things. We hope that you keep this in mind. We also 
would like to share the vastness of all with you. We are able to reach far corners and places and we would like for you to know that there is more life in this space and time than you could ever imagine. There is so much to explore and discover for yourselves and you do not need the limitations of your physical bodies and vehicles to explore this can be done in other ways just as we are connecting with you right now through space and time you can do the same we feel we have been connected long enough we thank you for the opportunity to come through. We shall depart now. We want to give you love and hope and a sense of adventure. Goodbye. Aliens, first thing in the morning. Oh, my camera froze. The Earth is not some dead thing, you claim. Correct. Probably given me that message before because I do try to think about Earth as a living being and appreciate. So I think they're taking me exploring in your sleep. And one time I was shown a planet and the part I saw was all burned up and there was a message of not letting it happen to Earth too. Wow. I don't know what it was, but I can tell you what they look like. <laughs> Yes, they, I could feel what they looked like. Like I could feel their body is part of my body and it scared me for a split second. And I was like, oh, and I was like, oh, you know, it's okay. <laughs> okay, you guys wanna know what they look like? This is what I saw for a second until they realized that I thought it was scary for a second. And then they kind of pulled back. Their body was much bigger than mine taller and like bigger like I could feel it like it was over the top of me it was like another body being fitted over the top of my own and the arms of this thing were like <laughs> I, I, I like like this big and I don't know what really they're like made of it felt kind of it, like really something really heavy like something about it felt there was there was two things it was like something about it felt almost scaly you know like a reptile kind of thing but then there was another part of it that kind of reminded me of like stone, like living stone. It was so weird, but they were huge. Like the, the body of this entity was like massive and bl real blocky and like, I, I don't, I don't know.
like their head was like up here compared to my head like their head was above my head you know and their head was massive it kind of reminded me of you know in um the never ending story the rock biter you know what i'm talking about the guy who's made of rocks and he eats rocks <laughs> It kind of felt like that a little bit. But then there was something that kind of also reminded me of a turtle. Like, a, kind of like a, I don't know. It was so weird. And I don't really have any way to explain it or um, understand it. And the color of them was dark, grayish, dark gray. Dark, they were very dark gray. Wow. Well, Angel, thanks for bringing in some aliens for us this morning. 